Do you want to have a look at the features of Omni ROM based on Android 9.0 Pi running on the Xiaomi Poco F1? That's what we're going to do in this video. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you the features of Omni ROM based on Android 9.0 Pi running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. If you're looking for a video on how to install Omni ROM on your Poco F1, I have a separate video on how to install custom ROMs on the Xiaomi Poco F1, which is linked in the description of this video. And it will also pop up as a card on the top right of your screen. This is how Omni ROM comes out of the box. You have your Android 9.0 Pi recents in the building and you also have Quick Step Launcher. As for the applications which come pre-installed with Omni ROM, you have a calculator application, calendar, snap camera, an application to view the Omni ROM's changelog, Chromium browser, contacts, email, music equalizer, a file manager, the gallery application, Magisk was installed when I rooted the POCO F1, Matlog to provide logs to the developers in case you find an issue with Omni ROM. You have the stock messaging app along with Omni Clock and Omni Switch for recents, a phone application. Phonograph is your music player. Play Store was installed when I flashed the Nano Google Apps package. So with Omni ROM, if you want to use Google services, you have to flash a Google Apps package. Then you have the settings application and voice search. For those of you who love to take pictures with the POCO F1, Camera 2 API is enabled out of the box on Omni ROM, so you can go ahead and install your Google Pixel 3 camera mod if you feel like, and Night Sight is working, Portrait Mode is working, so all the features which work on the Google Pixel 3 camera mod on MIUI are working on Omni ROM as well. And if you want to use the front IR camera to take videos and pictures, you can use the camera IR mod. However, the MIUI camera port for custom ROMs is not working on Omni ROM and it gave me a boot loop. So for now, I would suggest you stay away from that mod. Let us now go into settings. Omni Gears is where you have all the customizations of Omni ROM. We'll talk about that later. Nothing much to talk about in Wi Fi and internet and connected devices. We'll start with apps and notifications. We've already discussed what all apps come pre installed with Omni ROM. Let's go into time spent in apps. Here you will see a list of all the applications installed on your phone and how much time you spent in those applications. And if you want to set a timer so as to limit the amount of time you're spending in a certain application, you can do that from here. Going back, next we have notifications. So you can decide what all content you want to see on the lock screen, show all notification content, hide sensitive content, or do not show notifications at all. Next up, whether you want notification dots in your app icons or not, whether you want the LED light to blink for notifications or not, what is the default notification sound you want. And if you want to see notifications you received in the last seven days, just click on see all from last seven days and it will list all the notifications you've received in last seven days. Clicking on advanced, you have the option to set your default apps in case you have multiple browser, phone or messaging applications. If we click on opening links, you can enable or disable instant apps if you want to. Then in apps and notifications, we have app permissions. So let's say you want to see what all applications have access to the microphone. All the applications which are checked like this have access to the microphone and you can disable whatever application you want to. Next up in settings is battery. First option in here is battery saver. So if you're not near a charging point running low on battery, enable battery saver and your phone will run longer than usual you can also turn it on automatically using this slider and whatever percentage you choose over here next we have battery manager this is something which google added with android 9.0 pi this guy will run in the background and check for any applications which are draining excessive battery and report that application to you so that you can take an appropriate action you also have the option of seeing the battery percentage in the status bar and whether you want to see the battery image or not. Then we have time since last full charge and your screen on time. Next up in settings, we have display. First option is brightness level. So you can set the brightness level of your screen. Then we have night light, something which you can use to dim your screen a little bit. If you want to sleep, you can also turn it on right away or you can schedule it to start at a specific time or from sunset to sunrise. Then we have adaptive brightness in the building. Again, something which Google added with Android 9.0 Pi. This guy will run in the background, check your brightness settings in different environments. Once you're back in that environment, it will set the brightness automatically to the percentage or level of brightness which it has learned. 
Then we have the option of setting your wallpaper. Click on live wallpapers. I did go ahead and install the Google Pixel 3 live wallpapers. Click on set wallpaper, home and lock screen both. Working on the home screen like a boss. Let me lock my phone. Working on the lock screen as well. Next option in display is sleep. So you can decide after how much time you want your display to sleep, whether you want auto rotate screen or not. You can customize the font size if you want, the display size if you want. Click on advanced, you have the option of setting a screensaver. You can choose what screensaver you want. You can choose when to start it. Or if you want to start it right away, just click on the start now button. We also have ambient display in the building. Enable this guy and whenever you have a new notification, your display will wake up. Then you can also enable double tap to wake anywhere on the screen and what device thing you're looking for, whether you want automatic light or dark. Next up in settings, we have sound. You can change your media volume, call volume, ring volume, alarm volume, whether you want vibration for calls or not. You can customize your do not disturb. You can set your phone ringtone, notification ringtone, and you can also toggle all these options. You also have the Android 9.0 Pi style UI, and you can use this guy to change your media volume and tap on this guy to change your ringer volume or ringer style. Next up in settings is security and location. You can set your screen lock, pin, fingerprint from this section. If you go into smart lock, enter your pin, click on trusted face, click on setup, next. And as you can see, it is using the infrared camera on the Xiaomi Poco F1, which means face unlock will work with the IR camera. And if you go into voice match, you can also unlock your phone using the keyword on the screen. Nothing much to talk about in accounts and accessibility. Digital well-being is something which Google added with Android 9.0 Pi. And using this option, you can see how much time is spent in certain applications. And if you want to limit your time in those applications, this is where you can do that. Next up, we have system. In that, we have gestures. If you click on swipe up on home button, enable this guy, you have Android 9.0 Pi filled gestures in the building. And you can also enable the prevent ringing option, wherein if you press the volume up, and the power button at the same time, the phone will go into vibration mode. Other than that, in system, we have system updates. So over the air updates work absolutely fine on the Omni ROM for Xiaomi Poco F1. All right, peeps, let's go ahead and see what all customizations we have in Omni Gaze. First up is style. In that first option is Omni wallpapers. So you can choose from a predefined set of Omni wallpapers. Then you have Omni themes. If you want to use predefined themes from Omni, let's go ahead and select from hell. Wait for the UI to restart and bam, there we have it. Black and red theme in the building, working like a boss. Next up, we have device features. You can choose ambient display, whether you want to wake up the screen with a hand wave when you take it out of your pocket, or you can use tilt your device to wake up your display. Then you can also customize the strength of the vibrator, a pretty nifty feature. I think this is the first custom ROM I'm seeing with this feature. Next up in OmniGaze, we have buttons. You can choose whether you want to see the navigation bar or not, whether you want to see advanced option in the restart option or not. So let's go ahead, enable this guy, power menu, click on restart and it will show you all these options. Whether you want to long press the power button to turn the torch on when the screen is off or not. Next option we have is the proximity check. So this option will check the proximity sensor before handling the power and volume buttons. This is to prevent accidental press of power and volume buttons while the phone is in your pocket. Then you have the option of choosing your recent style. Right now it is set to default. So you have the default Android 9.0 Pi gestures in the building. Going back into settings, Omni Gaze buttons, recent style, choose Omni switch. It will tell you that it is currently not enabled. Go into settings, enable this guy, home screen, recents and bam there you have it omni recents in the building with a lot of other shortcuts on the side and the last option here is whether you want a vibration for a successful fingerprint authentication or not next option in omni gates is bars this will be customization for the status bar whether you want to see the network traffic indicators in the status bar or not and whether you want to see incoming outgoing or both what is the display unit you want bits per second or bytes per second and what is the update interval next up we have the transparency for the background for the quick settings panel this guy over here then whether you want the old style of signal icons or not whether you want to hide the notch enable this guy Click on the home button, go back into settings and bam, the notch is hidden and we're still using the notch area to display our clock and battery icons. So pretty nifty feature. Then whether you want to enable double tap to sleep in the status bar or not, and whether you want quick pull down, let's say we select right, pull down from right, quick settings panel is expanded, pull down from left, it is not expanded. And you can set it to off, right, left, or always, which will mean 
from both sides. Next up in OmniCase, we have lock screen, which will be customization for the lock screen, whether you want to see the weather conditions or not, whether you want to disable the power menu when your phone is locked, whether you want to enable double tap to sleep on the lock screen or not, whether you want to disable the media wallpaper or not, and if you want to disable quick settings when the phone is locked. Next option we have in OmniGaze is gestures, enable navigation gestures and you can use your OnePlus style gestures which is swipe up from right or left is back, swipe up from center is home, swipe up from center and hold is your recents. And of course for this to work you need to have the navigation bar disabled which you can do from OmniGaze and then you go into buttons and you have the option to disable the navigation bar. Next up in OmniGaze we have battery LED settings, whether you want to enable or disable the battery LED. Whilst the notification LED at the bottom of the Xiaomi Poco F1 is the battery is low, only light up when it is fully charged and whether you want the notification LED to work in do not disturb mode or not. You can also customize the colors but the notification LED on the Xiaomi Poco F1 is not RGB so these customizations will not work on the Poco F1. Next option in OmniGaze is weather. You can decide which weather service you want to use and you can decide the icon pack for the weather service which you are using. Then you have display colors so you can customize your hue, saturation, intensity, contrast and it will also show up in the picture how they will look like. If you screw up you can always use the reset button on the top right, bam, reset back to normal. Another nifty feature you have with OmniROM is reading mode, enable this guy and your screen will be black and white so if you are reading an ebook or something like that you can enable this guy and save the battery. Next up in OmniGear is a system UI tuner, click on got it. From here you can customize your quick settings whether you want to see the brightness slider or not. This guy over here on the top, if you want to move it to the bottom enable this option, move to the bottom. Whether you want to see the information header or not, whether you want the security footer or not, whether you want the drag handle or not. Next up we have system UI tuner for the status bar. What all icons you want to see in the status bar, enable and disable using the toggle switches. Then we have navigation bar, in that we have layout, so whether you want the normal layout, compact, a left leaning layout or you want a right leaning layout, these are all your options. Then you have editor, so using this option you can configure add a button, delete a button from the navigation bar. Let's click on add button and you can add whatever button you want to, click on the home button and bam we have two home buttons in the building. Next up we have lock screen so you can customize the left shortcut and the right shortcut which appear at the bottom of the lock screen. Last option in OmniGaze is more. You can enable the column layout for the settings main page. Enable this guy. Click on the home button. Click on recents. Clear all the application. Go back into settings. And there we have it. Your settings are in a column mode. And if you want to hide the summary below, so if you see connected devices, it says Bluetooth at the bottom. Let's go into OmniGaze, go into more, enable the hide summary option, click on the home button, back into settings, and bam, the summary has now disappeared. And if you want to monitor your CPU, enable this guy, show CPU info, and bam, there we have it, CPU info in the building as an overlay. As for the benchmark score, this is the benchmark score I got on OmniROM based on Android 9.0 Pi. And like I always say, do not judge a ROM by its benchmark scores. Go ahead and use the ROM. Everybody has different needs and different expectations from a custom ROM. That's it for a quick rundown of the features of OmniROM based on Android 9.0 Pi running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. I hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.